What is the Quran? Is it a book? Is it really God's word? Is it something recited? Is it something to read? Actually, yes, yes, yes. It's all of this and more. In fact, when I make the comparison to the other books, religious books on the planet, I have to tell you it's not the same. Because Quran is not just a book. It is not only something that's given to us by hand, something that's written by human beings. The inspired word of man is something I grew up with. We called it the Bible. Because we knew human beings had written a lot of different things. But not so with the Quran. The Quran is clearly the speech of Allah. That's why it's called Quran, because it means recite. Quran doesn't mean book. The word kitab means book. This is a book, and doubtless it has Quran in it. Additionally, there's a book with Allah, the kitab Allah, with Allah, fi lawhim as Allah says in the Quran about it. From this, Allah has recited to the angel Gabriel. The angel Gabriel, he has recited it to Muhammad, peace be upon him. And he recited it to his companions, they recited it to their companions, and so on. Until today, we have more than 20 million people on the planet who memorize the entire Quran, cover to cover, word for word, letter for letter, and dot for dot. They really did. But in addition to that, we have it preserved in the written form as well. You can see this in the museums in Top Copy Museum in Istanbul. You can see it in the museum in Tashkent, Uzbekistan, and also even in the museum in London, England. Yep, been there. I know it to be a fact. But is this in my hand a Quran? Well, let's examine that and find out. First of all, I want to tell you that Quran is not Quran unless it's in Arabic. So does this have Arabic in it? Yes, it does, right there, you can see. That's the Arabic language. You see it? All right, now, what you're looking at right there is Quran, written down. So that's Quran, no doubt about that. But next to it, over here, you see the English. All right, what this does gives us a translation of meaning, but that is not Quran. Although it represents something that's been you know, said, and we try to understand it in another language, we can't really call it Quran. Now let's take a look at this side. I told you it's a unique Quran, isn't it? Look here. This one, you look over here, and you'll see a representation of the exact sounds, but using a different language. This is the Latin letters or the English letters you see here, representing what you see here. For instance, the very first thing you see right there, look at it, is Ka'alif. Ka'alif. Now look over here. What do we see? Ka'a. Ka'lat. See that? That's what it says right there in Arabic language. Okay? Ka'lat lahum. Ka'lat lahum. Exactly the same. Although this is still not Quran. This represents it. So this is the way to make the sound in the English language. If you don't know Arabic, this is Quran over here. This is the translation of meaning. So we have all of it together in this kind of a book. It's a little bit heavy, but it's sure worth it, isn't it? Ah, and how does it compare to other revelations? Well, other revelations have different versions. There is no other version of the Quran. Quran is only Quran when it's in Arabic, when it's recited, or when it's preserved like this, and... SubhanAllah, I get excited every time I look at these beautiful words. But there's another thing about this. Even if we lost all of the books on the planet, and there were no more books anymore, this is the only book you could bring back exactly, word for word, letter for letter, dot for dot, with no mistakes. Why? Because so many people have memorized it exactly the same way. And that's impossible, I know, except if it's a miracle. And Quran is a miracle. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. The praise be to Allah who revealed the Quran, who sent down the Quran, and who made it easy to memorize, and who is preserving it. Alhamdulillah. Alladhi ja'al the Muslimin. Praise be to the one who made us Muslim, and he is the one who sent down this Quran. Alhamdulillah. Peace. Salaamu Alaikum. Oh. Wait, one more thing. If you'd like to get your own copy, you can write to us and we can send you the English 
the English translation of the meaning by mail if you'll go to alazquran.com A-L-L-A-H-S Q-U-R-A-N dot com put a slash and then the word free slash free alazquran.com slash free we'll be happy to send one out to you inshallah God will Assalamu alaikum peace